Yo, Elliot, my name is Will. I'm 21 years old and I recently joined the program. Thanks for all the work you're doing. It's much appreciated. I'm nearing the end of an apprenticeship in finance, which I started in January 2019. My dad saved a good sum of money for my siblings and I for university, but I chose not to go as I didn't want the debt. I've been saving and investing money over the past few years. And in March of this year, I moved into my older brother's property, living rent-free as he lives in my dad's apartment rent-free. I can't help to feel that life is too easy and it's making me slightly miserable. I would like to quit my job as I don't like sitting down at the desk all day, but I don't know what else to do. I have a few apprenticeship tasks to clear up first, and I would most likely get an increase in pay afterwards. Do you think in this situation I should quit my job and live in austerity after I finish? Or should I keep grinding even though I feel it's wrong for me? I appreciate your help. So 21 and you're living rent free. I I kind of fielded a question like this a couple of weeks ago. And one of the very first things I, I offered then and I'll offer now is to be grateful for where you are. I think there's this, you know, when I said earlier that, that oh, easy times, right? Good times create soft men. And I think there's something inside us that is that just resist ease as men because what do men do men are problem solvers men are conquerors men are warriors we need something to tackle and to wrestle and to fucking fight and beat the shit out of and win right we need competition right we need something to struggle against and when life is soft and we have nothing to struggle against it just don't feel right it feels sick on the inside like what am i doing with my life why am i here this doesn't make any sense. This is a part of the reason why we struggle with our purpose and our mission as young men in this world because it's too fucking easy. When you have to struggle for food, when you have to fight in nature, when you have to battle against the bad guys, you're not thinking about your purpose. You're not thinking about your mission. You're not thinking about what life all this means because you're struggling and you're doing what you're built to do. Men are built to fight, to fuck, to struggle. To conquer, right? And this world does not give us that now that may be coming, <laughs> right? Like if we have that extension level event that I was talking about late before, or there's global economic catastrophe, whatever whatever it is, that's when you can just man the fuck up. And that's going to be a time of true testing. And that may be around the corner. But like I said earlier, and like I mentioned in a previous video, look at where you are right now. And first of all, we have to accept and the best way to accept where we are is gratitude. Be grateful because it could be worse, right? And then you know what? Maybe I'm contradicting myself because I'm not sure right now. I'm starting to get a different feel for where this conversation needs to go. There are so many times in my life, right? Because this is the double-edged sword, man. There are so many times in my life when things are easy and I'm so pissed off as a result. Things are just going too good. They're too easy, too soft, and I need to create a problem. And as a result of my needing to create a problem, I create problems that are unnecessary. And I want to, I want to, I want to help you avoid unnecessary problems. But you and I are in different situations, right? You're 21. You're in the King Transformation Program. You're growing up very fast. I grew up kind of slow, at least, at least slower than I would have liked to have grown up. And as a result, I was making very effeminate decisions in my 30s. And so I was creating problems where there were no problems in, when I was still a, 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 when I was an adult. You're a young man, and you know when you don't have the responsibilities of an of, of an adult like I did. I had four children. I had a wife. I had a mortgage. Right. I got a whole freaking life. I can't afford to make too many stupid decisions. Right. Even though I, I allowed myself to, you really don't have anything to lose. You know, you know, um, you can really do whatever you want. And as long as you can put a slice of toast on the plate once a day, you're going to be all right. Right. You really don't need anything as a 24 year, 21 year old man. You know what your life is going to be built up about right now as a 21 year old man? Your experiences your training, what you're putting yourself through so that you can build virtue, right? 
I'm gonna take I'm taking this conversation a totally different way right now. You know what? Maybe you should go do something crazy. Maybe you should blow up the whole scene and create a mess. That way you have the purpose of fixing it back up by quitting your job, by moving out, by doing something outrageous. You're going to be under the pressure to grow up quick. You're going to be under the pressure to get your shit together. You're going to be under the pressure to become a man when most men are still boys. Right. I get it, too. Like if you're living in your dad's apartment or whatever, you're living rent free with your family, you're still kind of a boy. Right. And you're only 21 years old. Like I said, you don't become a young adult until you're 24. But 21, you still have the wherewithal to put one leg on at a time. Right. And to wake up on time. Right. And to grind. Right. You can still do that. Why not? You know, uh, I'm seeing all these young men and young women. Uh, I've been checking them out on YouTube because my cousin is one of them uh, who they they're living in their vehicles. My cousin and her husband, I'm gonna call him because they're living together and they're fucking. So they're husband and wife, in my opinion. Uh, they they bought a old used school bus. And they're living a life of adventure in a bus. Right? That's one opportunity. That's one thing you can do. You have a few more tasks that you got to finish for this apprenticeship. I would say finish up what you're doing, right? You don't want to leave uh, stones unturned or, or you don't want to leave loose ends, is what I'm saying. You don't want to leave any loose ends. Finish up whatever obligation you have and then go on an adventure. Why not? Right? Why not? You have nothing to lose. You have only what to gain? Your virtue the value of learning how to struggle, how to fight, and how to win. You know, things may get tough. You may you may decide to jump out the out of the nest and learn to fly on the way down, and you might not make it. You might not make it. You might hit the ground and blow up, right? Like that bird got pushed out of the nest. Like maybe he flies, maybe he don't. But isn't that a little exciting? Isn't it a little exciting to know that there's a threat of failure? I like to know that there's a threat of failure. I like to know that there's something imminent looming that might destroy me because that gives me motivation. Like you said, you have no motivation. You have no motivation. You say, do you think in this situation I should quit my job and live in austerity after I finish? Yeah, it might be. That might be. You say, or do I keep grinding along even though I feel it's wrong for me? You know, I'm just... I'm going out there on a limb today and telling you to go out there on a limb. Go quit that job and live that life of austerity. Go challenge yourself because there's nothing fucking challenging in this world of drones delivering boxes to your door, microwave dinners, and McDonald's. There's nothing challenging about this weak, soft, sick, sad world. Where is the challenge for men? What are you going to do? Join the military, right? I just read that Biden's forcing all military personnel to get the jab, right? You know, that once was, joining the military once was a way for men to live in adventure in a way, right? But now they have all kinds of perversions in the military as well. Not only are they forcing you to take these inoculations, what they do anyway, when you sign over to the government, then you become their slave anyway. But it's not even like a safe space for men anymore, right? Because you got women and transgenders and all kind of faggy shit happening in the military. I don't even think it's a good option anymore, right? I'm contradicting a lot of things that I've been saying lately, but I just have to speak from where I'm at right now, right? Military is gay. The military is, is so gay. You see, I think they put up the rainbow flags for the military too. Don't go to the military. Create your own adventure. What's that adventure going to look like, right? For a young man like you, there's volunteer opportunities, right? Have you ever heard of woofing? W-O-O-F? I don't know what it stands for, but it's like, uh, you know, it's like worldwide opportunity for farmer, you know, like young farmers. They got the Young Farmers Association um, where you can go and you can volunteer and work on a farm. And they'll, I knew a young lady that did that. They'll give you, like, housing, right? They'll give you, like, a stable, a barn to sleep in. But you go and you got to work every day. You got to work on that barn so that you have a place to stay. You can do, all, you can do humanitarian work, right? I mean, if you're going to sacrifice yourself as a man, at least let it be for something good, a good cause, 
right? Go do humanitarian work, right? I'm sure there's people in third world countries that would love to have you there building houses, right? Habitat for Humanity, right? Go join Habitat for Humanity and build houses for people in third world countries that were ravaged by hurricanes. That's an adventure. You might get dysentery and uh, malaria, right? You might get kidnapped by gorillas in the mountain. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of bad shit that can happen to you. Yellowstone National Park does live in work. All right, we got a comment that says that you can go to Yellowstone National Park. There's a lot of options, a lot of things that you could do like that. Look into that. There's AmeriCorps. You ever hear AmeriCorps? Again, this is where you it's a, there are organizations that allow you to uh, go and do essentially mission work in other countries and have an adventure, right? And you know, it's kind of it's halfway adventure, but it's not because you know you're you're you're, you're being supported by the organization. But that's a good start. That's a good way to begin, right? When I was twenty one, right about twenty one, I remember. Um, and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life. One of the things I was heavily looking into was to uh, be a fire, a forest firefighter. I wanted to be a forest firefighter. These guys that uh, jump out of helicopters and, and, and fight fires in the woods, right? That's where my mind was at when I was like 21. I got into rock climbing and stuff, and I was like all about that. I wanted to be out in nature battling it with nature fighting bears and shit we can't help it as men because it's so inherent in our nature that if we're not being you know you ever heard the saying if you don't use it you lose it well it's the same thing with being a man there's a certain use for men and there's a certain use for women and we're not using ourselves to our greatest capacity and that's why we're losing it we're losing it because we're not using it there's not enough opportunity for men to do manly stuff. And there's not enough opportunity for women to do female stuff. I was talking with this about a old, to an old woman the other day. I think it was my, you know, my old aunt or something. And she was talking about how back in the day, and I even remember this. It was not even that long ago. In high school, they would teach young boys how to fix cars and how to shoot guns and how to build with wood. This is what they taught in high school. It was called shop. Boys would go to shop and girls would go to home economics and it would teach them how to cook, how to change a diaper, how to clean up and take care of a home and a family. All that's done now because why? Men have, and women have lost themselves and we're not worth what we are. A woman, most women are not worth what they are. If a woman can't cook, if a woman can't clean, she don't know how to take care of a baby, she don't know how to take care of a family, she can't serve her man, she's a useless woman. She's a garbage woman. I don't care how much money she makes, I don't care... How pretty she is, she's a garbage woman, a useless woman. But it's the same thing for a man. If a man can't do manly things, like challenging things, like hard things, like adventurous things, then what's it worth? What's it worth? Right? So anyway, that's my little rant on that, man. Um, you're young, you're in a good place. Don't beat yourself up. I still believe you should be gratitude for what you have, have. Be grateful for what you have. But at the same time, why not look for adventures? Why not look for an adventure? Look for a challenge. Right? Look for something that's going to build that male virtue. Hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.